Hello, Saints Nation, and welcome back to our stream. It's been a while, but now we're back in action. Of course, I'm Matthias, also known as Mothize, and today I am joined by Josue Lakairu. How are you doing today? Are you excited? I'm doing great. I feel amazing. It's been a while since I've been back here as a caster. You know, last time I was here was, you know, Valorant. But, exactly. you know, today it's not Valorant. We are here for Rocket League. Yeah, and it's not just any regular Rocket League game. This is a Saints v. Saints Rocket League showdown. We were lucky enough to have two Rocket League teams this year, and we're going to be battling it out to see who will attend the Hue Fest and also play in the NACE Varsity Premier your division i agree you know it's uh it's a very interesting you know match that we're gonna watch today because you know only one team can go into uh the hue fest and the nace varsity premier league uh you know it seems a little odd but you know it's the only solution to find who's the best team here at st Clair college exactly yeah i know this is the fairest way to do it is see who battles it out who's the strongest and most you know, worthy team to go, but I'm sure they're both very worthy teams. But let's get into who these teams are. Of course, we have the team you are all familiar with. You've seen them play over the past year or so. That is going to be our gold team for today. And going onwards, that's going to be Vesh, Christian, and Spoods. I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen them quite a lot. You're very familiar with them. But now they have some new contenders to face off with if you like to introduce them. Yeah, sure. So for like, you know, the varsity green team, you know, all of them are from Europe. You know, we have one Austrian and the rest are, Ger oh, no, there's one Italian, though, one Italian, one Austrian and the rest are German, you know, starting with Jazzy. Then we have Fab, so I think, yeah, mm -hmm. Fabso and, and Zai, you know. Uh, you know, they're all very well talented players, and I'm ready for them to show yeah, what they got. Very, very talented as well. They have been up there with the best of the best, playing at the highest level you could possibly play, and we got them here today. But that's enough from us. We also have interviews lined up with the players as well. Daniil is going to be the one handling all of that. So I'm excited to see what the players have to say for themselves. But before we move on to that interview, Josue, what are you looking to see from the match? Well, from what I know so far from each team, you know, they're both well play, uh, well, you know, they're talented players. And I expect a lot of things from them, you know, quality defense, quality offense, a lot of things, you know. And, you know, both sides, good results in many tournaments in the past and recent tournaments, you know, for example, the uni... What's it called? The Uni Rocketeers. Rocketeers. Yeah, you know, St. Clair Green, or, well, now Green, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Gold, you know, they faced each other in the finals, and sadly, you know, us NA fans, you know, we were kind of <laughs> sad, but, you know, they tried their best, so. They did try their best, and they always, always do. But honestly, I'm very excited. The Gold is probably eyeing to be the underdog going into this next game, so... It's looking like green might take this, but if you had to give a guess as to how the points will end up in this best of seven game, what do you think it'll end up being? Well, I hope it's going to be a very close game, but, you know, my heart says that, you know, Europe might take it. Exactly. For me, I think it's going to be a close one. I think the Saints have that home field advantage. They're used, I agree. or the gold team have that home field advantage. They're used to this area of playing but that's enough from us let's throw it over to Daniil and hear from the players themselves or we're gonna stay here my bad I got okay. her but you know we're gonna just keep on going as I just like hearing my own voice honestly I can hear it too I love it exactly but now we're ready after a brief break this is it we are throwing it over to Daniil Betterson McGee take it away <laughs> And I am Daniil, also known as Better Smith Gee, and we are back. Just want to give a quick welcome. Okay, it's been a while since we've been here on the Saints broadcast, but we have an absolute banger of a match to get things started off. I am here with, of course, the one and only, one of the new faces around here on the St. Clair College campus. It's going to be Fobzo. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I feel like we're prepared. We're good. We're feeling great. 
Absolutely. Going into a match like this, I know there must be a lot of nerves. You know, you're playing against your own team. It's not like you hate these guys or anything, but at the end of the day, somebody must win. How does it, like, it feel to prepare against playing against your own teammates? School pride is obviously a big element of collegiate esports, but when school pride is stripped from it, what motivates you to come out on top in something like this? I mean, like in real life, like we are all friends. Like we we all know each other. Like we're very close. But like in game, you you just have to like switch it off. Like mm. it's competitive mindset. It's like their opponents, and we're prepared. We like scrimmed them. We we know what we're doing, and we're confident in ourselves. So yeah, that's probably it. Absolutely. Okay. And you know, a bit of a simpler question. You know, might be: Is this your first time in Canada? Yeah. How are you liking it Canada is. so far? How are you liking the school, you know? How are yeah, you adjusting? Yeah, Ca Canada is great. Like, Canada is, like, one of the best countries <laughs> I've visited so far. Yeah, like, the people are so nice. Like, the, the culture, like, the like even though, like, just the road signs, building, like, everything is, like, so <laughs> out of a movie for, like, us Europeans. <laughs> wow, that's, I was not expecting that, uh, especially the road signs part. You think in Germany they have nice road signs. They have nice cars. Yeah, but it's, it's just different. It's, like, the Canadian or, like, the American, like, dream or, like, the, oh, the feeling. It's, yeah. it's just a, a nice vibe out here. Absolutely. And, you know, one last thing to really give yourself a chance to get people a chance to know you. Again, your new face around here. Anything you have to say to the people at home, fans, people watching you before you get into your first match on the stream? Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. And, like, it's our first match on stream. There will be lots of games coming. So stay tuned, follow us, and, yeah, have fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we won't be uh, going into game just quite yet, but we'll throw it back to the desk, and uh, we'll see you guys shortly. Hey, that was great. You know, it's always very interesting to see how new players adapt and new people just adapt to coming to Canada. That's just something that's amazing to see, always welcoming new people into the home of the Saints. But Fabso also had that little edgier dark side he showed right there. He was like, at the end of the day, they're opponents. I agree. <laughs> he is locked and he is dialed and he has that competitive mindset mm -hmm. to just dial in and give it his all. Yeah, you know, Fabso, you know, he's a very well, you know, well talented player and you know i hope to see a lot from him you know me too i hope to see a lot from him as well and i think we very well might he's looking to show a lot at for his first showing mm -hmm. doesn't seem nervous at all at either well he's been in many tal uh you know many tournaments where you know he has that pressure and you know coming here knowing them actually yeah. <laughs> um in the finals last time they're no need for ner to be nervous. You know? Exactly. So. They're dialed in. They're ready for it. But yeah. the gold team has something to prove as well. You know, after hearing that, you know, they can't hold anything back either. You know, it's Saints v. Saints. You know, we're all friends here. But at the end of the day, this, you can't be thinking about that. You can't think about the bigger picture. You have to just dial in on today. You have to think about defeating this next opponent. And it looks like Green is in the exact right mindset to do so. But to guess on what's going to happen next is we're going to interview a gold player. You know, we got to see what's happening from the other side. But before we get right into that, any advice you would give to a gold player going up against this, this green team? Because it's very intimidating. They've played at a higher level than uh, this collegiate team, right? Yeah. Um, they just got to, you know, work together, communicate a lot. They've been together for many years, you know. Uh, you know, just do what they always do. Try their best. Try to win and learn whatever you need to learn from. Exactly. And let's see what we can learn from the gold team members themselves. Let's throw it over to Daniil. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are here in front of the illustrious Alienware Gaming Lab here at St. Clair College, and I am joined by none other than Spoods, also known as Benjamin, also known as the red hair guy for all those people here at the Nexus who need his help in the gaming lab. But, there you, go. you know, it's, uh, it's a big day for you, for sure. And I, just before I get into some of my other questions, generic esports question here, what's going through your mind? Oh, good question. Um, not much. I mean, we're we're calm. You know, we go in every match, same mentality. Uh, mm -hmm. Should be fun. Just you know, fun mentality. Best of seven against them. We've never really played them formally yet, so should be a fun experience. Absolutely. Now, you know, like I kind of hinted at before, you're not an unfamiliar face around the Nexus here at the campus. You've been playing for the team for quite a while now. You know, how long have you been playing for the team? Oh man, I think I'm. This is my fourth year, right? So fourth it's, year. yeah, it's it's been quite the tenure <laughs> for sure. Yeah. So, you know, considering your career with the Saints. 
you know that there's a lot of pride that comes in with representing what mm. the school stands for from our humble beginnings to where we are now. Mm -hmm. What would it mean for your squad, you know, Team Gold, to have the chance once again to represent the Saints and what we stand for as a team? Mm. Uh, it's a good question. I think um, win or loss, we do have great representatives no matter what. I mean, they're they're phenomenal, class acts, all of them. Uh, but no, of course, I mean, we definitely want to win. Obviously, you know, we'd like to stake our claim as the top team. But mm -hmm. yeah, no matter what, you know, they're sending great players. So I think it's a good problem to have for sure. Absolutely. Well, hey, you know, like I gave, uh, like I gave a Fabs a chance to as well would you like to say anything to the fans at home maybe even your lovely teammates mm -hmm. standing over there anyone just give the people a chance at home to get to know you a little bit better. sure um yeah i mean you know as always we appreciate it uh shout out to my mom I'm sure she's watching i always do that every interview always. but no we appreciate it guys uh everyone watching you know big things coming this year so uh yeah stay tuned and i guess enjoy the show Absolutely, and I know I'm going to love the show. I hope you love the show as well. Rooting for both teams here. Mm. But, ladies and gentlemen, above all, we're rooting for a fantastic show, and hopefully that's going to be coming to you guys very soon. Going to send it right back over to the desk, and we'll be getting the game underway shortly. Welcome, Saints Nation. You know, these are your casters. <laughs> I am Patrick Smoke Chambers, joined by... Uh, Theo, known as the Holy Juan. And, I mean, Theo, you know... We saw our boys in Thais and Hosea give a great breakdown of what we expect. But with the game so close around the corner, you know, we've heard the pregame breakdown. What do you see as the scoreline? Uh, the scoreline, you know, it's going to be hopefully a really, really good matchup. I don't even know if I can pick a scoreline, but I think it might go all the way. But I'll still, I'll take the gold team today. You'll take the gold team? Okay, so Christian, Vesh, and Spooge, I think seven. you're going to come up on top in seven. In seven. Well, I mean, that's going to be one hell of a series if it does go the distance. Me, personally, I have the green team taking it in six. I've watched both these teams for a long time. Obviously, the gold roster uh, from St. Clair and the green roster coming from Dr. Boom, and at least for the starting lineup, the coach and the sub being from Genoa as well. So if you watch Uni Rocketeers, you're very familiar with what we're getting into here. Two very high-level squads, especially when you take in the fact that the Dr. Booman squad are currently, at least Dr. Booman is the defending CRL champions. They took down Northwood Blue uh, with a team of, I believe it was Line Blaze, Zanil, and it might have been hockey, but you know, again, a year ago, it's hard for me to remember. Yeah. But regardless, they took it in six. It didn't even have to go to seven. With, with Northwood's main roster, uh, top roster being just three pro players in general, just RLCS pro pros there's a lot here that makes me realize you know if you're the gold guys this means everything you got to yeah. give it your all especially when there's Hugh Fest on the line and varsity premier league as well don't get me wrong you still get to play in nace varsity plus if you lose but again Hugh Fest, i know the boys want to go to the land regardless i know spoods gave a great interview he said what he had to say he made it you know all He's PG and nice and everything, but I know deep down he wants to go to that land, mm -hmm. obviously, right? I mean, they, those guys qualify for it. They want to go to it. So it is going to be a very interesting matchup, and, you know, hopefully it doesn't get toxic. Everything stays good. Yeah, I mean, We're just going to watch two of some of the best collegiate rosters in the world duke it out. Again, it is all Saints. All the players are part of the Saints. Right. So we're, there's no bias to anyone. We're cheering for both teams. We want to see both teams just play good Rocket League at the end of the day because that's what really matters out here. So, yeah, I know my prediction, seven games for the gold team. But I think with a home field advantage, like Matthias said, I think it might give them a little bit, a little bit of a boost, an extra kick that they need. And maybe seven games is... They have a chance. Absolutely. And I mean, I just want to touch on the fact that, you know, from that interview, you can just tell how much of like a leadership mentality Spoots had. Absolutely. I mean, perfect thinking process. Like you said, to quote him, it's a great problem to have when we have too many good players to send. Absolutely. So at the end of the day, you just got to pick a team. It was like something I was always told with the, you know, Overwatch varsity <laughs> team last season. It was just simply, it's a team with amazing players. And some start on some days and some don't on the others. Yeah, It absolutely. is what it is. It's the same case here. Either way, I'm going to be very excited to cast both these teams going into the season. Yeah, absolutely. I just hope we get to see some very high-level Rock League. I know, I know we will, for a fact, absolutely. get the absolute highest level of Rock League. But hopefully both teams aren't having an off day. Hopefully both teams are on their absolute best game because that, be, that would just be so much fun to watch. As the players join into the lobby now, I just want to give a little bit of some background. I saw both of these teams. I was watching them scrim a little while ago. I was watching our gold team scrim up against Limitless for those of you who 
you who don't know, they are currently limitless, the top team in Africa. They were sent to the RLCS World Championships, which are happening soon. Uh, I believe the fifth is when they start. And I know that uh, the green team was scrimming players known as, well, not known as, you know, the players of Speed, Knight, and Relating Wave. So for my, for my Rocket League insiders, you know that those are three very, very high talent players. Multiple of those three have been ex-pros, obviously, uh, especially Relating Wave is a big name that most people know from EU. So again, it was very interesting to watch both of them scrim. Um, I do know for a fact that even though I was talking to Spoods after, I, I went up to him and I was like, hey, you know, I was kind of liking what I was hearing because the comms between uh, that gold team were so just amazing Absolutely. and everyone was just so informative. It didn't seem like there were times where they were getting too overwhelmed. If it was something where they were getting overwhelmed, it, it just had to do with the sheer talent of the fact that it was limitless. They were scrimming, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it seemed like everyone was in good position. They handled boost well. And I think at the end of the day, they have a good comm system going out which I think players, high-ranking players, would be able to tell if you watch the show match that I, uh, that I casted with Gabe when the academy team ended up playing them as well. Yeah, I mean, you're just talking about it. There's so much talent, and uh, we have so much over here at the Saints. I mean, we're truly, truly blessed that we get so many players of the absolute highest caliber, but we're going to be going into uh, game soon. Who do you think takes game one? Because, you know, you said there's going to be at least six games in this series from your prediction. So I think, you know, the gold roster from what I've seen from them, if they get off to a hot start, they just fly, right? But at the same time, if they let their mental get into the way, which I think they've become quite exceptional controlling, if they do let that become a factor, they can get overwhelmed quickly. And I think that, um, you know, it, that's just every Rocket League team, in all honesty. Rocket League, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not dissing the mental of the gold team. Rocket League is just an extremely mental game. Most games are, right? So you always want to be on the good side of the mental. But regardless, we're about to get into game in a few seconds here. So, again... It's going to happen right now, and we're going to see how this one goes down as the kickoff is immediately won by Gold, or sorry, I, is actually the graphic reverse, but it is Spoods right now passing down to Vesh. Vesh, I believe he has a flip, using oh, it to wave dash save. out almost with the reset in the shot, but a great save from Jazzy to start off. Yeah, Jazzy with a great save there, saving a St. Clair green there as Zai is going to go for the shot there, won't be able to get the goal, fight in the corner here, Vesh should be able to win that one now, but Zai with a nice touch over there, Spoods will be able to clear it out and go for an attack of his own, you can see Vesh going to get the demo onto Jazz here, can Spoods find anyone with his pass, no, Fabso is back for their treat and Zai is going to take it up the side. And now Zai pushing the pressure, he has people running interference, but it's going to go the reverse, Christian getting the demo, and now they have to find the clear, but it's going to be the Saints Spoods of Gold there. who are on low on boost, you see Spoods on 20, Vesh on zero, two Saints on zero now, and they have to try to find the clear, the 50 from Spoods, but who's going to be the man to get the job done? It seems like Zai is going to be the first one back on it, and now Vesh with an infield pass to Spoods gets found, but it should be an easy save and clear up for Fabso. That was a dangerous opportunity for the Saints, green tee, but Saints gold able to hold on. Now they're going to have an attack of their own, Vesh shot on target, nice save there from Zai, Christian with the follow-up is going to find the first goal of the series, as Saint Clair, College Gold are going to take the lead. And again, it's just a beautiful play, Spoods with the recognition, and Vesh is as well knowing Christian is just tailing right now as the third man he's creeping up and he knows he can because Spoods on the rotation is going back to that back corner he knows he can creep up take the shot and cheat it's a beautiful play from gold and they go up in the series 1-0 yeah great start for them first goal can dictate so much momentum but they almost give it away immediately Zai with a shot on target Christian with an amazing save Vesh gonna be able to block that one out but two players flying in a bit of miscommunication as no one gets a touch onto that one now St. Clair Gold will look to go on the counter attack but still Green are pushing Nice little tap there by Jazz, but Vesh is there for the save. He's going to be able to knock the one away, and now maybe Saints can have a chance on the counter, but it looks like Green aren't going up to give up the pressure. And so far, I've seen a couple of times, oh, that's an amazing shot from Christian. It's just barely going to get Good saved up by Fab, so this is what I'm worried about. The Saints on defense, on the gold side, they have seen multiple times where their boost numbers are low when they go out to clear. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how they can handle this as the attack.
attack from the green team just gets uh -oh. ever Good so save. more threatening. Fabso rotating back. You can tell he's trying to get the shot or the pass off to Jazzy. Jazzy with a flip. It is going to be taken out by Spoots, but again, low boost from the Saints green. And now it is, or gold, sorry. And now it oh, is the shot coming in eventually from Jazzy. It's what I was saying. The Saints get caught out on the gold side with no boost in the tank. Christian low, Vesh on 32, Spoots on 12. It's what we've been seeing so far this matchup. And you just knew it was going to come back to bite them eventually. And that was just such a beautiful pass right behind Spoots. There couldn't get the touch on that one. The St. Clair green do tie it up at one at pace. Let's see how teams decide to continue playing this one almost halfway through the game. It's going to be another chance for green here, but gold, it would play defense. You can see this green team definitely on the offensive a bit more than the gold team. And as you said, those boost numbers have been so crucial to be part of that. It looks like Fabio's going to go on the attack here. Spoods is able to get that 50, but it's still going to be in the danger area for Saints. Can they get the finish here off the crossbar? It's going to be a follow-up shot. No, it's a clear from Christian as it looks like the gold team will hold on. Nice demo as they try to go on the attack. Vesh will find something, but the clearance comes through as now gold are in danger. And it is St. Clair now, finally, with a little bit of boost on the defensive side. So they can use this to mount a clear. But now they have Christian playing in net. Just playing back post for the clear here, and he's going to take it. But Zai with the challenge, a beautiful one at that. Forces Vesh to go up. And now, running interference on the end was Christian, but Jazzy's is going to be able to see through it. Zero boost, Spoot should have a flip on this clear to use for a 50. He does exactly just that, standing strong so far on defense. Yeah, and Gold doing a decent job here, but still green on the attack. Nice little passing play there, but doesn't lead too much just yet into the corner. Now Spoot will to, to win out that 50, but it looks like Green still maintains position. You can see Zai sitting here in the back line, ready for the shot. Will he get on target? No pass to himself, but the clearance is there from Christian. Now Jazzy takes it over one. Spoods is there to find him on the wall there. Takes all three members of gold to stop Green there, but looks like a counterattack coming oh out from Vesh. God. Beautiful move from him. There's gold. Take the two in advantage from a great solo goal. Are you kidding me? I mean, how much boost did Vesh have in the tank? He had not even 40. He gets through the whole team, catches the hole what in the rotation goal. from the Green side and it's a beautiful play wonderful awareness from Vesh and wonderful awareness from his gold teammates to tell him you have this lane take it we can stay back if the clear comes down and it's a beautiful play gold up 2-1 so far. Yeah, the strike second here, take the lead again. And only a minute 15 left for Green here. They're going to need to turn it up a notch if they want to get a goal back here. Saints, so effective on the counterattack. Zai will be back just in time. Save that one away. But now it's in a good area for Gold. Spoods puts it into the middle. But it doesn't look like they're following up too much. You can see the green, uh, Gold team getting a bit more safe now. Not going for these dangerous 50-50s as Green are on the attack. Oh, hits oh, the poster. Jazzy, the follow-up shot cannot go in as well. Passing to the middle, another shot on target. There you go, Zai picks up the second goal. His gold team was just discompobulated there. And you know, green side's gonna make me eat my words. I was going to say because on that Vesh goal, and same thing with the Christian goal as well, it was because too many players were rotating out and they were leaving their nets empty. It seemed like green was kind of trying to push the pace a little bit too much. But when you're down one with 52 seconds, you have to throw all your eggs in one basket. It doesn't matter if the score ends like 7-1 and you get Brazil. It doesn't matter. If you lose, you lose. So you have to try to play for that next goal they found it it was a great job and a great job by Vesh as well might add on defense getting the first save a great 50 though forces Christian out of net on the challenge now he just misses barely Zai can he play this off the oh. ceiling no not quite I believe it was a little bit of an accidental touch by Christian and unfortunately it's going to turn into an own goal as the Saints gold now fall 3-2 so far in this game with 28 seconds left yeah it just goes through two there Zai for the green team and gives his team a lead at a perfect moment less than 30 seconds left Gold need something here desperately. They won't win the tip, and it's in a dangerous position, but Christian's going to be there. Find the clear. Jazzy now going to try and defend this one. One Christian puts it into the middle, but no shot comes in from the gold team. Green team, 15 seconds oh. away from victory. Gets it over two defenders. It's just one defender left to beat. Nice pass into the middle, and that's a goal. That's going to be game one wrapped up as Green take the 4-2 lead. I mean, I have seen crazier stuff in 10 seconds, but I'm going to go ahead and say it's a basically 0.1% chance, right? I mean, if, uh, it is the green team again. I thought they were honestly going to concede because I saw the infield pass from Vesh, two defenders on zero. I'm thinking yeah. gold's going to bag a goal right here, but it didn't happen. And instead, they throw the eggs into one basket. Eight seconds. Spoods needs to make something work right now. Fake into oh. the 50. He gets a round pinch over one, but it is going to be Zai to close the door shut on him as it will be the green team on the side of Fabso, Jazzy, and Zai who will be taking the this game one as they go up 1-0 in the series. That was a good game. You could see uh, the green team twice were down a goal, but in the end, uh, kept the attack pushing, kept uh, a 
attacking, attacking. Finally, they had an extra defender back and they were able to score four goals. And it's just, it was a good start for the goal team. They scored one, they scored a second, but just could not hold on to that lead. Yeah, I mean, it was an incredible game. And if you were watching it again from my perspective, I'm looking at all these things going through my mind. I'm thinking about the boost numbers. There were multiple, I will say, flaws that I saw on the side, especially on defense. But this could also be nerves. This series is for a lot. It's, so it's both sides pressure. are really, really gunning for these wins here. And sometimes it forces a player to maybe miss a boost once in a while when they rotate back. Maybe they miss calm, right? And it's small things like this that these two teams will be able to pick you apart for if you give either sides an inch they will take a mile that shot the ceiling able to recover does he have a flipper say yes he does but a save up from oh, Fatso shot from Spoods but then another sh save from Jazzy Christian 67 he has a flip to work with gonna delay it so it won't oh. happen but he is going to go for the 50 on the air dribble so it was close. able to just get hit out though yeah and it looks like a gold starting off hot again trying to get the early goal but green this time able to withstand the pressure as Vesh gonna go for a pass to himself but nice little 50 there from the side side of green as Christian looks to pass it to a teammate but nice little work there from Zai gets the clearance there Spoods pass it back in Jazzy should be able to control this one tries to pass it over to Zai Zai gonna pass it back to Fab so the demo comes through from Spoods on to Zai takes it over Christian Fab so he's gonna look to take it over the second takes on two defenders just on his lonesome pass it off the post and the finish is there from Jazzy just a phenomenal goal and great teamwork from the team there this is what you see out of SSLs of this caliber they know immediately when they are on ball where to challenge how they want to take their 50s and Jazzy shows just exceptional game awareness while on ball there it's just absolute class and it's what you want to see out of your team absolutely Jazzy definitely did a lot of work there found the assist as well but now looks like gold want to come oh back God. immediately Besh all on his lonesome as well flying through the air ties it up at one piece let's see this one one more time nice little control there gets to the flip right there through all three defenders and ties it up at one apiece. I mean, there's no words for that, right? I mean, ceiling shots, you would expect that there would be a defender up to challenge, but it seems like Vesh was able to find the gap in the defense as he usually does. He's such a talented player and can do that with such great offensive prowess. But now Christian with a quick pass down. He was looking for it to trickle down for a Saints oh. member, but it didn't happen. Ended up being an easy save. And as the rotations come through, it is going to be Saints Gold who have to try to find something. It's only Jumping over the defender to avoid the demo is Vesh, and it's going to have to force Spoods out. But with that, it's an overcommit. Christian on no boost. Oh, he plays very composed, and he's able to stop the ground pitch. There's a shot coming out from Zai, though. The rotations were so good from the green team. One person makes a save, goes for the boost pad, and Zai is wide open on the backside. You can see nobody is in front of him. Just Vesh, but doesn't have enough boost to get out there in time as the green team takes the lead yet again. And Christian just picked up that 100 pad, which means that when you were looking at the replay, they were all low on boost again on defense. It's something that the gold team has been punished for time and time again. It's going to be green that just does that again. Arsenal flip reset, but I don't believe Zai got the reset on that, so we'll have to just try to go for a 50, whether he was faking it or not, we won't know. And now, Christian with the downward pass, not going to be able to find Vesh though, as now he has to try to play 50 for Spoods. Spoods on zero boost, now grabs 100. And he has to try to find a clear, or he's just going to leave it down for Vesh. That's smart as well. You never usually want to clear across <laughs> your own net. That's a pretty good rule of thumb. So good composed defense so far from the Saints gold team. Yeah, I mean, gold doing a way better job of slowing down the green team here, but they still need to get on the offensive to get back in this game. They are down a goal and down a game this series. Definitely don't want to go down 2-0. Oh, nice attack here coming up from Zai. The demo comes out oh, by Vesh. So it's going to be the Saints gold team able to clear this one out for the time being. And there goes the full clear and Zai does a respawn is going to be able to tap that one out onto the side to Jazzy. Jazzy going to find it over one defender. Can you find the pass to the second? What a save from Christian coming out. Two Saints gold members needed for that one, but they are able to stay alive still. The attack is going. That was a nice attempt there from Green, but just could not find the player in the air. And it looks like Saints gold finally going to get the momentum back with their favorite Spoos tries to clear it out. Something I've noticed so far as well in the series, you can definitely see the difference in play style between EU and NA. NA play styles are usually a lot more focused and centered on solo plays and big mechanics, whereas EU plays are a lot more focused on fakes and uh, passing plays, especially. So again, it is a play style that I know the gold team has actually been trying to replicate a little bit more, and they found a little bit of success in the last year's Invitational with it, but now they're going up against the true product of an EU squad who's done this for so long. And I'm going to be honest, I, want, I might want to look back on the VOD. I don't think the green team has scored a single goal that hasn't come from an assist. 
Yeah, I mean, it's been great teamwork from uh, the green team so far, and they're able to maintain this lead. A minute 40 seconds of Jazz. You're going to have a shot from Hatfield, but it looks like Spoods will be there in time. Nice save coming out there. But Fabso going to take it in front of two. Only Vesh there to defend. The 50 is in a dangerous position. But it looks like gold team will be able to maintain the pressure for the time being. Christian right on under this one wins that 50 over to Spoods. Can Spoods find a pass to anybody? Looks to find it to Vesh. Vesh able to take it into the corner. Can he find a cross into the middle? It's a dangerous position, but it looks Looks like the green team got it under control, and now the gold team has to rush back. And now Vash picking up that patty. He has to try to get this challenge, but no. Going to leave it back post for his defender, Spoods. Jazzy with a quick turn and try to get some pressure here. Has 250s. They won't go his way, though. It doesn't matter, though. Fabso's already up, uses a flip. It should be an easy shot for Spoods to save out. Oh. But that is a dangerous 50, as it will be the green team, who just keep on having the pressure. Finally, a clear out. Something room to breathe from Vesh. But again, they are just so relenting oh on my. the side of EU. Fabso with a demo after the air dribble as well. Should leave it for the ceiling for Jazzy. Has a flip, uses it to try to get under. Maybe a ground double, but it doesn't happen. Spoods with a quick bump out. Saved by Vesh. Oh, it's going to have to be left for Christian. And is that too much of an overcommit to ask oh, for? Oh, the bump come through. No, not quite. Great defensive prowess from Zai as he gets the save and keeps his team in it. Yeah, you could see Green this time having that defender back just saves them on that one and maintains their lead at 2-1. 20 seconds left and they're still putting on the pressure. There's a shot on target from Fab, so a nice assist from Zai. And yet again, it looks like the Green team goes up in the final seconds, up two, and make it almost impossible for the goal to take this game. Yeah, and I mean, again, you just watch how Zai positions his car. He knows the challenge is coming in, so he flips it to the underside of his car to get the most surface area on the ball. It leaves for a dead challenge. It kills the ball midair and allows for a nice shot from his teammate. It's insane offensive awareness. The pinch coming from Spoods off the defender. But again, this may be another case of too little too, ta too, sorry, <laughs> too little time, too much to ask for on the side of St. Clair Gold, as it will be St. Clair Green finding yet another game as they move up now 2-0 in the series of the best of seven. It's a great start for the Green team. As you said, up 2-0 now, two games away from victory. They're definitely going to be feeling themselves after that one, but we've seen this gold team perform some miracles before and have some crazy crazy comebacks so um, if anyone's gonna get that done it's gonna be them right I mean they're just setting up for the reverse sweep yeah. right? that's what's gonna <laughs> reverse happen sweep. no I mean in all honesty I gotta call it as I see it right now there needs to be a little bit of a change they are getting overwhelmed on defense on the side of gold and it is what it is that's just what happens sometimes when you're facing a team like this green team on the other side what i will say is the gold team is doing an exceptional job of then punishing the green team for using too many players on that attack and if there are times where the gold team has a good amount of boost on the clears they do end up punishing the green team for over you know um what's the word i'm trying to look for overextending Overextending, right? overcommitting. Overcommitting, thank you. you go. <laughs> As a Rocket League caster, you would think I'd have that just drained into my memory, but for some reason the word left my mind. It is what it is, it happens is sometimes. Is. But for now, it seems like the green team have adapted and they have somehow found a way to find the same quality on offense while not having to overcommit or overextend. It seems like the rotations have gotten cleaner. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's a factor of the 50s that are leading to passes. Yeah. Because when you kill a ball in dead space like that, that is time that goes off the clock, ladies and gentlemen. And when you have seconds draining away like that, it allows for that first man to rotate back, get the boost, and get ready for the, set, for the clear when it does come through. Absolutely, you're spot on with that one. As we're starting off game three, Green have a 2-0 lead. It's going to be all on gold now to try and flip the script here. A uh, bit of a calmer start, it seems like, from the last two games as nobody really in control here. But it looks like Green are going to have the first attack here. Vesh makes the crucial save. Their Spoo is going to look to take it out. Pass it over to Christian, but that 50 is one. I have so now. Still going to be Gold's ball. Vesh and Christian is going to reset here in the back. Play it nice and safe. Christian does get taken out, and it's a crucial mistake coming out from Gold. They were just playing too close to fire there right next to their net. One demo, and it falls apart. An easy shot for Zayas Green take the lead yet again. And it's good awareness. Vesh would not have passed that ball down to Christian if he had 
any boost in the tank, right? He's going to use that clear because it's a risky play. The green team immediately notices it and jumps all over Christian, able to find the demo. Spood's not in the area because why would you be? That'd be a trouble commit for one clear, yeah. right? So good awareness from the green team as they carry on their dominance so far. It is going to be Zai now lurking in the backfield. Another demo. Another demo from Jazzy. And I won't lie, I haven't seen too many like huge demos, but I will say that was a oh. massive one. And an un, you oh know, I was going to say an unlikely double that I was going to see Zai miss. But I want to point out the double bump that came before that. Yeah. It freed up the entire net, and it seemed like the job was so easy. Jazzy actually fakes it, and then Fabzo comes in for the second shot. And it's just, you really do see just how, uh, I guess, well, chemistry, like how much chemistry this EU side has. These players have been playing with each other for such a long time, but they know exactly how not to give up the ball in a situation like that to go for a wide open clear and a shot on the other side. It is St. Clair College Green right now, up 2-0. Spoods with a half flip trying to get the challenge. He oh. does, but his third man in Christian rotates a little too far up. It is going to be the 50 down that comes out. Jazzy able to just not quite get it on his side. It will be oh. a shot from what I thought was going to be Vesh's on a redirect, but it was a great defense to play by Fabso to get in the way of it. Yeah, and now he starts the attack, takes around the whole team. What a save there from Spooz to keep them only two goals down here. Zai looking to get back. Vesh won't be able to get control down. Spooz though takes it over. One Fabso is there for the clear. It looks like it's going right to Jazz. He can't find the pass or to Zai. No, it won't be there. Christian finds the save. Let's play a bit of ping pong here. Jazz is going to look to take control. This one takes it over. One nice contest there from Vesh. Wins that 50 out Fabso. Tries to pass over to Zai. That's a dangerous pass though. Spooz was flying through the air there. Maybe could have got a shot target here. But Christian's going to look for the one-on-one -on -one here. Finds a shot. Nice save, save there from Fab. So still maintain their two goal lead as Green looking to maintain their lead for the last three minutes here. And that's not easy. Back shoulder save, especially from a shot from a caliber pl a player of caliber as Christian, right? I mean, that is incredible placement by Christian, and it's just unlucky at the end of the day. Should have gone in. But it is going to be now the Green team who have the ball on their end. They have to try to get this one out. Spoods not allowing them to breathe. Zai on the backboard, though, has a lot of boost. He can try to take this whether he wants to fake and go underneath, and he's going to do exactly just that. Challenges Christian as well. It is going to be the drop down pass. Can he find Spoods the side of Vesh? There it yes, is. he can. <laughs> Polish power surging through his veins as he finds the drop down pass. And Spoods says, thank you very much. He's never going to let an opportunity like that go to waste. A perfect pass and a perfect goal for St. Clair College Gold to get themselves back in this matchup. They get themselves back in this game, only down one now. And there's the uh, last minute desperation pulls off of them. There, Spoods going to have a shot on target right off. Kick off, and just like that, a mental collapse coming out from the green team, gold team, in the span of a few seconds, tie this game up at two apiece. And I said it in the beginning, they're a mental team. So even if they're down and you know you think they're out, if they find one goal, they usually surge off of it. It's a great kickoff from Spoods, and it's going to get Sinclair College Gold back into it. Now going down the other way, it is going to be Christian with a quick save from the shot out by Zai. And right now, if you look at St. Clair Gold, it's the same problem. They are very low on boost. Spoods can't do all the work here. Someone has to help him. But when all your numbers are low on the side of boost, Fabso can just do whatever he wants. This ball is going to be Zai out. Oh, the good. shot trying to happen from Jazzy, but he's going to leave it for Fabso. The save needs to be made. And another demo. We're really seeing this EU oh team open God. up with the demos here. I pointed it out that they weren't happening a lot. But now it seems like they were looking into, you know, maybe listening to my cast because <laughs> they've been pulling it out a lot here and in crucial areas too. Yeah, but I, even after all that, Gold still maintained the 2-2 two -two draw. It was great defense there from all the f pressure that Green put on, as maybe the Green team has really turned it around. But there's going to be an attack from Zai. Great save from Spoos in the one-on-one. Vesh going to look to find that clear, but Fabso is there. Beats one man, but there is the counterpart. Go right back to Fabso. Beautiful team play. What save comes team. out. Another save. No, Fabso is going to find the finish. And just too much pressure there coming out from the Green team as they retake the lead. I was looking at this ball and I was sitting there and I was like, Fabso, if you backflip right now, you can find Jazzy for this first shot. And he did exactly just that. It's great offensive awareness. Someone with eyes in the back of his head, it seems like. I mean, yeah, he has ball cam on, so I'll be honest with you that. <laughs> but <laughs> just for the calm, you know, it was a great moment from Fabso. Zai trying to take his time here. Has a reset over one. Can you find the air dribble bump? Oh, no, not my. quite, but it leaves it oh. over a teammate. But a Miss. quick one off the post. It's not very common. You see that, oh but oh, can Green so cool. recover? Yes, they can from that miss. 
and it will be Fabso putting it in from the pass from Jazzy, which I believe happened a little bit earlier. Yeah, Spoos just can't get up there in time, and Fabso with a beautifully placed shot gives the green team a 4-2 lead. Can the gold team man. come back one more time from the two-call deck deficit here? Yeah, well, I mean, it is down by two now, and with a minute left, it is getting a little bit bleak. They had a little bit of that Ooh. magic earlier, and crossbar. I believe that was saved out by the crossbar. The fourth man on defense there on the side of St. Clair College Gold, but now with a flip, Jazzy using it for the musty. Can he find the pass on to Jazzy, or sorry, Sai, or was it Fabso? I don't even remember. <laughs> it is such a great mechanic, the musty flip coming out for the pass. I couldn't even re realize who put the move on but it couldn't find Jazzy for the shot. And for now, everything stays level. Vesh with a flip reset of his own, trying to find a ground double, but it gets caught out by Fab, so... And now, Jazzy, with a full tank of boost, using it now, has a flip on the reset, uses it for a ground pinch, trying to find the shooter in Zai, but it won't happen. A Spood's able to keep that one out. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a miracle here from Go Team Needed. Two goals in 20 seconds, but anything is possible. But every second that ticks down from the clock is just so much better for the green. And they have control of the ball. Vesh not gonna be able to find that one. It's right next to their net, and they have 10 seconds to score a couple here. It's looking very, very improbable. Maybe a pass made it through there. Might have been a chance, but with these seconds ticking down, it's gonna be green taking game three, and they're gonna be on match point. Right, and I mean, again, you're just seeing it from St. Clair College Green. You're seeing it from these boys from Germany and Austria. They are just so experienced. They know exactly how to play around with the ball to make sure that they don't, you know, have any loose ends on defense. It seems like there's always, always someone back on that backboard on the side of the green team, and they're always ready with a full tank of boost, playing backboard defense to take the ball up waste time they almost always get a reset off that backboard yeah. and that extra flip allows the defenders to just carry the ball down the entire field and it's hard to challenge if you're a defender because you don't know when they're going to use that flip they could either use it to get it through you they get passed to a teammate hell they could fake it and go under right you never want to challenge uh too late but at the same time you don't want to almost be up too early because then that also screws over your teammates on the other side of the yeah. defense. Have they rotated? Have they gotten enough boost? We've seen multiple times right now that the gold team, what they are lacking so far in this game is the boost numbers on defense. And I will say that is to no fault of their own. If anything, that's to credit the green, the green team, team yeah. because they're getting these demos. When a player gets demoed, they get reset to 33 boost. And to use some of that, if you have to, if the situation's tight to get back to the net, then to find a save and then a clear. When demos happen, I'll tell you as a Rocket League player, the first thing you do after you run interference on goal line and take demo, you're still in that 100 pad, right? Yeah. So you're losing boost, you're losing men on the net that are able to make these plays happen and make these clear outs happen. And it's just the green team playing at a faster pace on offense. Absolutely. The green team is showing why they are some of the best players in the world as they look to take the clean sweep here. But gold can have something to say about that. An early attack coming up from them. What a save, though, from Fab. So green team playing amazing defense to start off this fourth game. A little bit of a mistouch, though, but it's okay. Fabso, again, has boost off the back wall. He's going to get it around one, and now he's going to use his flip to try to ceiling pinch. It Was, will be redirected oh in my. by Sai as well. Are you kidding me? I want to see another look at this thing. I don't think the angle that I had did it justice. Fabso with the ceiling pinch on to Zai. He was already up for the pre-jump. Wow. And it didn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're as great as a defensive player as Spoods. That yeah. shot was placed so well with enough power. No one's getting to that. Watching in real time, I thought Spoots had a very good chance at it. But speaking of good chances, Vesh off the kickoff happily will take that one, put it in his back pocket. Don't worry about it. I was saying they're tied up at one apiece. We're back to square hey, even. That's multiple times now <laughs> that the Saints have gotten kickoff goals on the gold team, right? Yeah. So I'm just saying, like, you know, it's never over till it's over. I know they're down 3-0, but it doesn't matter. Anything can happen in Rocket League now. The Arsenal flip reset from Jazzy. Did he get the flip? No, I don't think so. Either that or he faked it out for the ground pinch. Zai trying to get the 50, but it's not going to go his way. Christian playing third man. He has to let Spoods and Vesh run their offense real quick, but Vesh isn't going to be on that field anymore. He knows Spoods is backed off, so he can challenge. Spoods, you have to go up here. You can't leave it all to Vesh. He's going to do just that and at least waste a little bit of time to let Vesh get some boost. Oh, no. But with the double coming through, which should be Zai. That aerial control is simply out of this world. And when you're a player of his caliber, it's just another day in the park. What a goal here from Zai. Does it all himself as a green team. Yet again, takes the lead. 
but I'm going to wait until after kickoff happens to speak further. Let's see if the gold team can get on back. No, this time there's going to be a clearance, and it looks like the, the green team has done taking those chances, but as I say that, Christian with a shot on target, Fab, so find the save here as now the green team looks to push gold. And need to be on the offensive all game this game. That's a dangerous pass there coming out, Zai. Going to look to find something. Can he find that follow-up? Fab's was going to be there. Doesn't get the best touch on that, but Vesh tips it up. Is there a follow-up there? No, it's going to be a pass. Over to the side, Zai might have a shot on target here. Nice little save there. Coming out from Christian as the gold team looks to counterattack. And he was trying to rotate his car there just to find the angle so he could basically like flip cancel his way into the net there. Zai with a ceiling oh, a double, save. but it is going to be great composure from Christian. Knows that the shot has to go low, so he just stays there and doesn't waste any boost. Good defensive awareness. The next shot coming out, Spoods quick to save, but now again, Vesh low on boost, Christian low on boost oh, as well. How? And the 50 from Jazzy how should be going? able to do the rest of the work. It's just the situation we've seen over and over again. The first touch, such great control. He plays the 50 so well. Oh. And even though falling on it there was a little bit lucky, you might say. Yeah. Regardless, it was enough to get the job done. A goal is a goal nevertheless. And St. Clair College Green go up 3-1 now. Yeah, they go up 3-1. That was a beautiful goal yet again. Looks like the goal team had a chance there, but clutch time defense from this green team has been insane. They've made some crazy defensive saves alongside there. Uh, non-stop attacking offense. See what they can get done on the defensive end here. Looks like a shot on target, but Jazzy's gonna be there for the save. Besh might look for the follow-up. Jazzy is there yet again. Now he's gonna start the attack by himself, but Christian is there to cut that one out. Can the goal team find the shot on target here? No fab, so it's gonna shut that one down for anything happens. Spooz does get a 50 on it. Nice little pass over, but Zai is there as right. green. They just seem to be taking control of this game four. Right, I mean, even just Zai being able to get that on net, it wastes boost, it wastes Christian's entire tank. He has to now grab that mid 100. Vesh forced up into the air, not able to find anything though. Both players on St. Clair Gold though, they have full tanks. Spoods with a flip reset, but Fab still reads it absolutely perfectly. And Jazzy, again, off the backboard, like I pointed out multiple times, he has the pass down to Zai off the fake flip reset. Fab so, with a little bit of boost here, he needs to try to find the, sh uh, the 50 to try to get it down to Zai. He will just do that though. And now the team pinch coming out, but it's not on target, just high. Vesh oh! off the backboard, but he goes what too early. Save. And a crazy save by Christian to keep his team in it. Yeah, that was a dangerous opportunity there for the green team fourth goal might have been all she wrote here but gold keep themselves in this one Vesh with a shot on target with Jazzy is able to get there in time Spoo's now going to take control of this one but look at the boost numbers you as you were talking about the green team is just so good with getting all those boosters and now they're going to have full control of this one Spoo's not going to win that 50 but it looks like Christian will be there for the clear Jazzy though it's going to go up find the 50 there Spoo's will find the clear here and maybe a shot on target T looking to take it himself nice little save there from Zai though as Jazzy does find the demo onto Christian Fab, so going to take it around. Vesh here gets the boost as well. As Zai is going to look for the cross to a teammate. Is anyone going to be ready for the shot? They try it. One, two. What a save there from Spoos as Fab so had a nice shot on target there, but the goal team is still hanging on. Right, but I mean, open net off a double. You would think that the backboard shot comes out, but no, the third man doesn't come out. And this is really good time burn, burn as well from St. Clair College Green. They're going for so many 50s, so many quick aerial challenges because they want to hold on to that ball and keep a man on it. If you can keep a player on that ball, no open shots can come from it. So by being able to just ball chase someone or just have someone committed to the ball at all oh. times, it leaves for openings to burn time away. And that definitely isn't going to help the scenario of Saints Gold. Yeah, Jazzy gives them a 4-1 lead, and that could be all she wrote. Three goals in 40 seconds. It's a tough task for the gold team. But let's see if they can start off with a cutoff goal. They've gotten a couple already. One more wouldn't hurt at this time, but doesn't seem to happen. Christian takes it up in the air. Zai will be there to take the control of the ball, getting green with this time taken down. Just need to prevent goals really is all they need to do. But it looks like they're still going to give it one final attack. Looks like the gold team finally Finally get some control of the ball here. Vesh can look for something, but the time is ticking and Green are doing That's a great crazy. job of defending double this. Reset, like, just double flip reset, like just out of nowhere. <laughs> it's just incredible. I'm sorry to cut you off there. That, no, was, no, just, it, that was absolutely insane. Yeah, I mean, the time is ticking down. You could see the Green team definitely deserved it, pulling out these fancy mechanics as the game's about to expire. As soon as it hits down, that will be the series. And the St. Clair College green team are going to get the clean sweep and win the series 4-0.
Yeah, and I mean, again, I don't think this was, when we look at the VOD, this was not anything to do, I think, with the the uh, any mistakes that I think the gold team was making on defense. Sure, it seemed like almost every time there was low boost on defense, but it's because this green team, they're finding the bumps they need to be finding. They're demoing, right? They're stealing boost. I, they ratted so much. Like, no, I'm saying ratted. <laughs> they stole so much boost there in the opponent's half. It was just almost as if it felt like it was inevitable. When you have that much control in the offensive zone, you can just pepper shot after shot after shot. And when you're getting the 50s in the corners like they were able to do and control long clears, it allows for the first man who rotated up first for the shot to rotate back, grab boost, and he can set up on backboard. He can try to just sit, wait for a long clear, try to challenge first on aerial. And if he does that, he can let the second and third man rotate back. It was just so clean. I think this is just going to go down as simply masterful rotations out of the green team and just how much that can do for you as a Rocket League squad. Absolutely. I mean, the green team showed why they are the best of the best with a clean sweep over our Saints gold team who are a very, very strong team. So it's just an incredible performance from green. And, you know, it's going to be a, a big season here for the Saints, for the Rocket League team. And uh, this is just the beginning. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Uh, look, I'm just going to say it right now, right? Uh, again, we have now our gold team who will be Spoods, Christian, and Vesh. They will be competing in NACE Varsity Plus League. They're going to rip it up. They are going to just, yeah. like, I'm not going to say destroy <laughs> that league, but they, look, I expect big things from them. I'm sure they do as well. Guys, if you see this back, you guys are going to go absolutely crazy. But, on the winning side as well, on the green team, congratulations, Jazzy, Fabso, Zai. You guys get to compete in Hufest as well as the NACE Varsity Premier League. And I know you guys are going to go absolutely animalistic on that side of it. And I cannot wait to catch some of that action. Yeah, it's going to be fun to watch. Hopefully a lot of Rocket League uh, matches on stream this semester, as you said. It's just going to be so much fun to watch this uh, team and see how much they can get done this season. Yeah. Absolutely. And again, just breaking down some more stuff that I saw there, I really liked the fact that the green team in the first game, it seemed like they were kind of getting punished for overextending, but they realized after where the gap was. The Saints gold team, credit to them, they noticed that immediately. They were like, okay, even though we're low boost, these guys are overextending like crazy. Yeah. If we can just get somebody who has at least 40 and get a long clear down the field, we pick up mid pads and we just send it, right? And they punished them for that for the first game. But when you're as good of a team, at, well, either of those teams could have made that change, obviously. Yeah. I've seen the Saints gold roster do it tons of times as well. But the green team immediately noticed that gap and said, okay, that's fine. They punished us, what, twice now in the, fir in the first game? They punished them twice off of it? That's done. That's not happening anymore. We're going to do passing plays, aerial 50s. We're going to kill the ball in dead space. Make sure these Saints on the gold side have no boost. We're going to implement more demos to try to free up more seconds of time that we can use to get our men back. Take maybe a mid pad that would leave them padless on the rotation upwards on the clear. Yeah. And instead, all that boost then just gets used and drained on a clear back onto the offense. I mean, it was just a masterful performance. And actually speaking uh, of the players, we have an interview coming up. So let's throw it over to Daniil and let's see what he has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here once again in St. Clair College on the Nexus on the stage, joined by the illustrious winner of the Battle of the Saints, whatever you want to call it this time. But what's important here is not only will you be playing in the NACE Varsity Premier Division, but you will also be going off to Q-Fest. And, you know, simple question as always, what's going through your mind right now? It was a tough battle both ways, and I'm sure you're excited. Tell yeah. me about it. I'm just glad that we won it because, like, I really wanted to go there. Like, I mm -hmm. really, really wanted to go because it would be like my, my first land with St. Clair now. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I want to like show that we can make some results and like get some good reputation for St. Clair as well. So, I'm excited to play it. Yeah, for sure. And like, like I said, you know, we put on a fantastic show for everybody here. We got a couple people in the crowd. You know, it was getting a little rowdy, a little loud. It's, things get when people are excited, invested in the outcome of a match, and especially one as uh, personal as yeah. this one. Now. 
you know better than anybody else. Defeating the Saints is quite the task. It's mm. difficult, and we all saw how close those games were. What do you really feel like, though, put your squad over um, the opponent's side here and gave you the advantage, let you take the win? I feel like it was like a bit of experience, to be honest, because like we already know how they play. So we already from the beginning on, like we try to adapt on them. Like we know that like they, they sometimes like struggle a bit when when it comes to defense. When we hold pressure, they mm -hmm. start to panic. So we start to like to play for that. So that's why yeah we we, we knew how to play. So like it was easy for us to adapt for them. Okay. But still, like, it was a, was a hard match, like, not gonna lie. Was, Absolutely. Speaking yeah. of hard matches, you know, in a difficult match like that, I feel like you rely on your teammates a lot to kind of keep you grounded, mm -hmm. especially a game like Rocket League. Every single second matters, and yeah. even just slight mistakes, deviations from the plan can cause a disaster. In your game plan, whenever people are kind of feeling the tilt or coming under the pressure, who's on your squad kind of keeping everybody together on task, you know, Calm and level-headed. Yeah. Who's doing I that I think for it's you? Um, James and I, like Jazzy and I. I'm okay. like the, the, yeah. So you're both just trying to defuse Fabs though? Like, <laughs> yeah, is that kind of it? Okay. Uh, sometimes so, like, when I notice that James like kind of like getting a little bit moody or something, I'll just tell him, yeah, keep your head up. And then the same he does for me. Like we just um, support each other. And then for Fabs, of course, we support him as well, like every every day. Absolutely. And then there's always our coaches as well who are like always there for us, like on, for to do like to, to keep us on the track. If you sometimes like start to like feel too confident and like maybe not troll, but like have like too much fun, mm -hmm. they like get us back into tryhard mode. Keep like, hey guys, take it seriously, yeah, yeah, you know? Exactly, exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have to do the same for my players, so I, yeah, I understand yeah. your coaches. The coaches don't get a lot of uh, love and respect as much as I think they deserve, so absolutely 100%. much love to the coaches for bringing the team together and making them play 100%. Now, absolutely, once again, congratulations, congratulations, Thank congratulations. You. Looking forward to seeing your performance, and of course, 100% love of the day towards the uh, gold team as well. They put on a fantastic show, and I'm sure they're gonna really put on a fantastic show throughout the season as well, playing the Nace Varsity uh, Plus League as well. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the action for today. We're going to throw it back to the desk before we wrap up here today. But thank you so much for watching. I've been Daniil, and you've been... What? What is it? What's your name? <laughs> oh, I'm Saya. Thank you yes. for watching, guys. Thank you. Take See care. <laughs> and congratulations to the green team for winning the qualification there. <laughs> and what an insane match that was. Every game was close. You know, the green team did end up winning, but especially that first game there, it looked like the gold team might win that first game. Yeah, it was very close. You know, we were kind of expecting gold was going to win there. It was very close. Then, you know, it didn't hey, work out. On you know, way. that's why they were the underdogs, you know. It was not speculated for them to win, but hey, they gave it a good run for the money, you know. Like he said right over there, just a little bit of cleanup, a little bit of an experience difference there. You know, they have played at that higher level. Mm -hmm. That will come with time. And they're going to have an amazing time in the Varsity Plus division. They played very, very well. But the green team is going to be going to that Varsity Premier position and the Hugh Fest land. So congratulations to them. Anything else you want to say, Jose, before we close things up? Yeah, I mean, both teams played well. You know, obviously, green team took, you know, the whole the whole tournament or I should say game, sorry. Um, congrats to both teams, but, you know, there only needs to be one team. You know. I suppose so. And, <laughs> well, they're going to play in the other league. But nonetheless, congratulations to both teams. Thank you very much for joining me here on the desk, host. Thank and you. thank you very much to our sponsors as well. That's going to be the St. Clair SRC, the St. Clair College Alumni Association, Tim Horton Subway, and our new sponsor, Alienware. They <laughs> supplied all the PCs we have here in the arena. And make sure to go check them out because they're some good stuff over there. But once again, if you do end up missing some of these streams we're gonna have it all uploaded onto the saints gaming ca vod channel on youtube so you can make sure to tune in there if you miss anything at all but it's gonna be hard to miss stuff because we're gonna be starting up the nace regular season very soon we're going to be having call of duty league of legends overwatch rocket league and valorant all happening at the same time so make sure you tune in through the coming weeks to watch this journey unfold once again, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Thank you for joining me here on the desk. Thank and you. we'll see you sometime next week. Thank you very much, everybody.